on the fourth down play where Bobby stopped Ken Newton. If you watch that, he's kind of standing there as the play starts. Is that something the coach will linebacker do? Or is that kind of a Well, you know, it's a little bit of both. He does, Bobby does his homework. He's a pro and he knows how to uh, watch the film. He knows how to fit in the defense. And he was, uh, that's just a con connection of, of the film study, what they like to do in the red zone, and then a really good player making a really good play. What in general, I guess we just look at the run defense in, in general on Sunday when we're sort of facing these games. Well, you know, you played against a really good running team, uh, and uh, Cam is, is solid. Um, you know, McCaffrey was solid. So at the same time, uh, you have to give them a lot of credit. At the same time, we have to get better. I think as we go down the stretch, something we always uh, hang our hat on is stopping the run. And most offenses want to run the ball. So there's, you know, there's a, you know, there's a conflict there between offense and defense. But uh, on that day, uh, they made some some big runs on us. And it's, at the same time, when they got down to the red zone, we uh, we kind of um, you know bowed up and, and made our plays. Well, uh, Breedas, uh, well, there, there should be some similarities. They're both uh, really good players. They're both really fast. They both can run inside as well as outside, and so you, you see a lot of similarities in, in the way they um, in the way they run the ball on the, on the perimeter. And the run defenses have been assignment gaps, gap assignments. Has it been tackling? Well, run defense is, is connected to everybody. I think that any time that uh, 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 anybody runs the ball, everybody has a responsibility. On, uh, on the defense, and it comes down to discipline, gap control, effort, attitude. All these things have to work together to uh, to have a successful play. Have you ever been in a game where you force five fumbles and get none? And what's the coaching point there? Oh uh, yeah, we were in that game last week. <laughs> well, uh, you know, we've been doing really good all season on getting the ball out and, and getting the turnovers. There was a little dry spell for two or three games that we didn't. So now all of a sudden we uh, do a, do a great job of emphasizing getting the ball out. So we got the ball out. And then and now the next step is to, when you get it out, take it away. So I think that that's a process. And I think that as we continue to grow and as these uh, games become, uh, you know, tighter, it's important that we, you know, go through the process of knocking it out and picking it up at the same time. It seems like Trey has a real knack for going after the ball. Is that something you saw in the front of him? Well, that's something that we've we've developed as as a group. Uh, getting the ball, um, taking it away, knocking it out, punching the ball, pulling it out. Every which way you can, you can uh, back tip, rip it, front tip, rip it, punch it. We talk about it. We uh, we have a, a ball in our defensive room where they hit every day. We we show a lot of film every day on on how to get at the ball. Uh, a lot of uh, examples on how the ball should come out. So it's uh, it's certainly emphasized around here. And every every once in a while, some guy picks it up. One guy will pick it up, and he'll do really well with it, and we hope that it, it multiplies as it goes through the group. So you, guys, you have an actual ball in your defensive room that you guys work with? Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Did I say that? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> uh, there, is, there are balls in, on, the, on the football team. There's a, there's a few balls around, yeah. And do you practice in the meetings the technique to, to knock it out? I can't tell you what happens in the meetings. That's like we we hold something dear to ourselves. You can't you can't know everything. The doors are closed. That's just for us. <laughs> you you were here for the beginning of Richard Sherman's career. Just what what do you remember? I guess particularly. Uh, it's funny uh, watching Richard come in as a as a youngster and grow, coming as a lower round draft pick and really work him work himself up to, to the great player that he has become. It's amazing how you see that in our players here. You see a lot of young players here that came in looking just like Richard, and they go into the developmental process of trying to become a really good player, trying to uh, understand the things that the good players do. So watching Richard grow and become who he is has, has been a great example for us to, uh, to pass on to these younger players that we have here. So he's been a great example for us to, to pass on uh, the things that we saw to him. You kind of had it as a player going from playing for a team and kind of playing for the rival kind of thing, sort of like Richard is, ended up doing. Is that, what is that like, I guess, as a player? Well, you know, every game is important. Every game is a championship game, I think, that how we, how we talk about it here. But at the same time, the team that you, you spend a lot of time with, I think the team that drafted you always has a certain, you know, special place in your heart. So I, I, don't, I don't see any different with Richard. I know he has a special place in his heart for Seattle. How he handles that, that's, that's all personal. He'll, he'll decide how he handles that. Down people is it to have a guy, not just like Richard, but Cam and all, and all of these guys that embody what Seahawks football is, to use as examples to these guys that you're trying to train. 
Well, they were all here with these guys, you know. So uh, the last year they were uh, they were here with all these young guys, so they were all able to touch them. Uh, so it's important that again, uh, the guys who who play with uh, that LOB team, uh, the guys who were able to watch them uh, from college, all those coaches who coached them at the same time, uh, all those things are important as we continue to pass on and, and, and spread the message of Seahawk ball. You know, we, we were able to s s uh, give that message to those players, but that's just the Seahawk way, you know, the way we play defense, the way we develop our players. Uh, so as we go through the process, we like to create more of those type of players. He likes to play with young guys earlier in the year, so by then, by now, he's uh, a little bit ready, more ready to play. Specifically with uh, Hedrick and Trey, how do you see them develop? Well, you can see him. Uh, you see uh, Trey working. Uh, you see him make a uh, miss a tackle during the game last week. He could have easily been uh, lost his confidence. He comes back on a big third down and makes the tackle. You know, uh, there are times that he punched the ball and it's coming out. Uh, he's he's a guy that has a supreme confidence. You watch him each 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 day at practice. You watch him each day in the, each week in the game. You can he can't help but get better. You watch uh, his his progress and Tedrick the same way, the way he roams in the middle of the field, the way he uh, tackles, uh, the way uh, you can see the way Earl has had a, a influence on him, how he uh, gets the ball out and things like that. It's it's just fun to see the young players continue to grow. Now at this point in the season, now it's time for all that growth to turn into uh, you know discipline wins uh, as far as we go. So we're we're excited about what they've been able to do it to this far now, it's time to take it to another level. What's been Cam's involvement with helping some of the younger guys? Well, you know, Cam is, has been that, you know, that tough guy, that, that guy that they've watched over the years, and Cam is really, really mentally strong. He's been, seen a lot of football, so he's been there for the guys to really talk to. Cam is a, you know, he's a mild-mannered guy on the sidelines, so he's able to talk to him in the player's mind, in the player's type of, of uh, language to let them know the different things to expect, how to play certain plays. So he's been, you know, a viable, very important resource for the players. What was your thought on the, your pass rush game last week? I know you guys didn't get to camp at all. How much of that was how you guys played up front or how much of it was having to account for all the, the stuff that they uh, did? Well, it's all connected to them making a, a conscious effort of protecting their quarterback, them having making a conscious effort of using max protection and, and play action pass so the guy, all guys are staying in. And then when you run uh, as effectively as they did, it really sets up the passing game. So all those things work together. Did you guys have trouble with the headset communication in Carolina? Uh, there there might, may have been times. There's, there's, there's different games sometimes a headset may go out on us, but we have signals that we have. So whether it works, 100% of the time or 95% of the time, uh, that's kind of normal. Sometimes you, you might miss a play, but for the most part, it was working. We hear a lot about that at quarterbacks. How vital or is it not as big a deal with linebackers because you say Why would it be less of a deal for a quarterback? The linebacker is a quarterback of the defense. The, everything's offense around here. We need to know our plays too. Okay, defensive uh, team, we have plays, so we like to we like to spread that around to the group. So the linebacker of the defense, he has the play and he tells everybody, just like the offense. What I should have stated was because of your signaling system and Bobby Wagner's experience, are you less reliant on that than some defenses are? That Let's rely on the no. We're well. That's part of the the technology, so we're relying on it. But when it goes out, we're we're prepared when it when it's not working. Do you get up until 15 seconds like the offense does? Is it the same? Exact same time, yeah. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. Yeah, thank you.